Hi, my name is Dr. Kevin Gazzara with Magna Leadership Solutions, and we're so glad that you're here to join us for this uh, series of tips from our organization. Hi, and I'm Tim Galusha. Glad to be here with you. Can't wait to share a few of these things we've learned over a lifetime of learning. Well, Tim, let's talk about the first question that uh, comes in about kind of understanding ownership and what leadership is all about. And one of the techniques that we use, which is I'm the problem or I'm contributing to the problem as a foundation for what we see great leaders to do. You know, it sounds really simple, uh, but it's very, very powerful. Uh, and one of the first things it does is it unlocks the ability of somebody to be wrong. In many organizations, I really can't be wrong. Right? The leader is never wrong. But when the leader steps up and says, you know, I could be the problem here, that unlocks the ability of everyone to be the problem. And so it opens the door to many, many solutions that otherwise wouldn't be possible. You know, one of the things that we found is, is that when people come in to do problem solving, quite often they come in with the idea that it's the other person's problem and I'm there to fix you. And, and that's really not what leadership is all about. In fact, it's almost always, you're the problem. And when we talk to, to people, it's, it's always, we'll fix them because they're the problem. Yeah, and one of the things that we found is that if you start with the other person is the problem, your ability as a leader to be able to come up with the best solution or a better solution is really very, very limited. In fact, it's hard to come up with any solutions at all. There might be one, there might be two, but it's very limited. When you, when you approach it from the other person owns the problem. But when you own the problem, now suddenly the opportunities are almost, almost limitless in terms of, of, of what could really be done. And it also opens the door for working it out between the two of us where there's some joint ownership. So could you own 50% and I'll own 50%? Maybe mm -hmm. both of us, we could do things a little differently. So lots of opportunities when you start with the idea that I'm the problem or I'm contributing to the problem. What I hear you say, Tim, is that it really moves from uh, uh, a me and you to a we and doing some things together. Uh, and that is so critical for people to become leaders. The one thing we'll say is, is this is not easy. It's hard to do. And uh, in one of the next videos, we'll talk a little bit about what happens when your other leader on the other side of the table uh, is not embracing that. We'll give you some tips on that in one of the future videos. Yeah, and, and just one, one added item I'll, I'll add, Kevin, is that when you approach it that, that I'm the problem or I'm contributing to the problem, then there's a cognitive discussion that goes on. But if the first thing out is you're the problem, now the other person's typically gonna have an emotional response and their cognitive abilities go way down. And so the, you know, the ability to find the best solution is really inhibited. So by starting off with, I'm the problem or I'm contributing to the problem, it really opens up that opportunity for a cognitive, uh, focused, problem solving focused conversation. So thanks for watching the video. One of the things that we like to do is really help others be successful using the servant leadership model. Um, and both Tim and I have been practitioners in industry for over 30 years. We'd like to share some of the tips and tricks to help you get to that next level of leadership with your organization uh, so that you can be kind of recognized uh, at the level of your full potential. And if that makes sense, um, please contact us at magnaleadership.com or click the link uh, in this video and uh, you can set up uh, time for a discussion with us. We would love to help you. Absolutely no sales pitch. Uh, we're here to, uh, to help you be more successful.